Okay, so to start, you're just gonna need some paint, some decent paper, and a paintbrush. I use watercolors because it's as easy as it gets. You don't have to be, you know, using multiple brushes and cleaning. Just I try to keep it where I'm thinking as little as possible. First step is you're gonna have to decide is this a landscape or you know portrait painting. Uh, obviously, this one is landscape. And then just kind of look at the color, like see what color you're drawn to on your um, palette and start there. And just allow yourself to really not think. Just follow that sense of beauty where you, you just kind of feel like the color should go. You can't do this wrong. You can overthink it. I guess that would be doing it wrong. But just don't think about it. Just enjoy. Uh, make it playful. Uh, ask yourself, what next? Or, and then what? And then what? And, and keep following that. Eventually, you'll hit a point in the painting where you're like, this feels complete that or you'll run out of room and you'll know that there's no additional paint strokes to be made i think when people hear follow your sense of beauty they kind of think um like pretty but beauty is whatever you know you enjoy or whatever is really inside of you to be expressed sometimes my paintings are really dark and some of them are really happy and bubbly and lightweight like this one so once you hit that stopping point, uh, set it to the side, allow it to dry, and start to do your words. And this is fun. Just really take your time to look at the painting and think about how it makes you feel. See where your eyes are drawn. Put yourself in the painting. Imagine what it looks like, you know, to be in one of those little floating pink bubbles looking around. You can write down any, you know, emotions that you get from this and any physical sensations Sometimes I just put any word association. I'll sometimes use a cheat sheet, a list of feelings if I'm feeling, you know, uh, listless. So once you feel like you've put enough words down, and again, don't force it, just kind of cut them out. Make sure it's on a little bit thicker cardstock so you can't see what the word is through it. So you can mix them up uh, so you don't know what the words are. And so this is your next opportunity to kind of tap into your intuition. Now, you're going to put these in order, but you're not going to know what the words are. A couple ways I like to do this is when I kind of float my hand over it like that and wait for like a ping just to kind of feel like drawn to it. Another way is just imagining uh, wh or where my eyes go to. So that kind of shows me the order of where I, I feel my eyes pulled. And then just lay them up there you know take your time this is actually a really relaxing thing to do and the best part is is that you cannot do it wrong so once you've got them all on there flip them over and oftentimes i like to just kind of move them around sometimes move one to the next line and you have your poem there and that can be done or you can write it and maybe add some fill in words make it a more complete thought but this has never failed for me. Every time it comes out as a really interesting poem. And voila, there's your intuitive painting.